our next guest stole the show in Get Out, and now they're back together in their highly anticipated on-screen reunion. We have two of Hollywood's hottest actors here to help us spread the love this Valentine's Day. Please welcome Lakeith Stanfield and Laura Hardy. For Valentine's Day. Got two. Oh my goodness. Lonnie. <laughs> now we both remember you guys from Get Out. Such a major moment, such yeah. a huge fan. Just watching you come out here, I was like, oh wow. How have your lives changed since then? Hmm. <laughs> well, I get a lot of people running up telling me to get out. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't get out of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, Not gonna front low key, I wanted to say that to you, so I'm glad <laughs> I did it. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. What about you, Lorel? I Ralph? think it's it's fun seeing like the the whole cast and even Jordan just all mm -hmm. everybody has elevated mm -hmm. since then mm -hmm. and been working and uh, you know he's, this dude is brilliant and it's been fun like to be reconnect re with him too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Lakeith, you had like a super major 2019. You were in Knives Out. You were in Uncut Gems, <laughs> which stressed me out. That movie stressed <laughs> me out. Yeah. Um, what kind of character do you want to play next? Or do you have in your mind to play next? Because mm. you were actor, actor. Yes. I think I would like to play a... Uh... Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. A rose. You want to play a rose? Oh, yeah. why a rose? Because it's an anime and I ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, actor, actor. This man actor. just pulled a rose out of his pocket. I love yes, it. Really yeah. I didn't know what he was going to take. Such an artist. <laughs> I was I'm, like, I'm glad it was a flower. That's all. Okay, uh, Laurel, you have a pretty successful year yourself. Yeah. You've been in a bunch of movies, plus your stand up special live in Crenshaw. Um, why did you choose Crenshaw? I mean, because I wanted to do a really black special. Mm -hmm. And uh, we shot it, you know, at Dorsey High School in the community. And I was actually surprised about how, like, L.A. showed up mm -hmm. for those two days. It was like a line around the corner or whatever. So mm -hmm. dope. Um, and then, you know, it's the Crenshaw District, because, you know, like, people yeah. from here like, man, Crenshaw ain't no place. You're right. <laughs> but <laughs> to the rest of us around the, the country, we always thought Crenshaw was a city, the way it was talked about. And it exactly. wasn't until I moved here. I'm like, oh, it's not a city. It's just a street. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. But I knew if you, if people really want to know I shot it in front of black people, I needed to call it Crenshaw. I couldn't call it nothing else. I think that's, that's the right. only way to say No, it was in front of us. Exactly. So, yeah. 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 And I, I enjoyed, it was great too. enjoyed it. I enjoyed that you also, like myself, used the Negro National Anthem in your yes. session. Exactly. Yes. You know, you said that you started to, you wanted to let everybody know what kind of black man you were through your comedy. What yeah. did you mean by that? I mean, like, just like, um, <laughs> I've always been unapologetically black. But it's hard to tell because I be doing all this mainstream stuff. But, like, I never forced that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, I, every set I'm on, everything I do, I do it for us. You know, I fight for a lot of stuff, even when I have my show and then the other projects I got coming up. So it's very, I'm, I enjoy being black. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lakeith, you are a big believer in numbers and symbols and signs. Have you ever seen anything and realized later that it was a sign of things to come? Well, if you want me to be real. We're on yeah. the real. <laughs> I'm not going to be that corny. No. Okay. Um, Three was a vision for me that I saw as a number that I saw that for some reason I felt it meant something to me. And in the third month of 2013, my first movie came out. Oh. Um, so that was the first of many signs that would be okay. uh, revealed to me that that would be a special number in my life. Wow. I was also the third born, stuff like that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's deep. Another, yes. <laughs> very deep. Um, another interesting fact I heard about you, Laurel, is you were you are on the dating app Bumble. Yeah. So I have to ask, have you been on any dating dates recently?